Well, good morning. And what a cold one it's been. This morning, it has been a minus three. It's still minus two, and it's about 11 o'clock. Say good morning, a little bit late to the party. Anyway, first thing is, if you see this clock, ignore it. It's the wrong time. Although that would make me up really early. No, take this clock as face value. It's quarter past seven and it's really cold outside. I'm here to show you what I'm going to attempt to do this week. Say this week, might take a little bit longer, don't know yet. I am in the room at our side of the house that we call the Sausage Factory. And we call it the Sausage Factory, ironically, because they used to make sausages and meat products in here. Um, it's, I'll show you. It's a, a big square room um, with one big built-in cupboard there. Behind this fridge, there's another like inbuilt cupboard in the wall there. And at the moment, it is used for storage. Over in this corner, I've got boxes and boxes of kitchen equipment and I can't unpack these boxes because I have nowhere to put this stuff. It's all stuff that I have used and I do use because every few months I seem to go through these boxes, pull things out and then they end up in this corner over here where it's all just becoming a messed up jumble of stuff. After having these boxes here, going through them, going through, pulling stuff out, moving them around, it's getting quite upsetting because some of the boxes are actually collapsing and I don't want it to damage the stuff that's in there. Um, because once eventually this is all up and running, all of this is gonna be used. At the other side of the room to the sausage factory, we have this door. Um, that goes further into our side of the house. It's an absolute maze. And then through here, we have this long, long corridor. Um, I don't understand why this is here. It's, it's a bit of a nothing area. I mean, at the moment it's got some rug storage, some coat storage. Um, it's got some boxes of things in here. Got an old Singer sewing table from our old house. Um, we've kept this. This is the, the set of scales that would have been in the butchers that was left here. Uh, I've got no idea what this is. Absolutely no idea. Um, that looks like, uh, I think that was a bread box. These are some of our dining room chairs. Um, there's some old wallpaper that I've kept from the big house. Um, the roof or the ceiling is like some kind of nightmarish Swedish sauna. Uh, the walls are painted. Yeah, there's a bit of a bit of damp. Ooh, and the paint's flaking off. Uh, at the bottom here curtains are falling down because unfortunately the curtain hooks, the pins in the curtain hooks haven't stayed up and it's dropped. Um, and there's this glass unit here, which is just, yeah, this is just storage for things like mirrors and stuff. It's not really an area of the house that's used. However, that's gonna change. We've been out and we've bought a load more of these shelves. They're on offer. And I'm gonna rack out all of that corridor. I'm gonna unbox everything, all of my kitchen equipment, and I'm gonna have it so I can see it. So when I wanna use something, I can just go and pick it off a shelf, use it, and put it back on a shelf. Good morning, uh, another cold one today. Um, come down to a builder's merchant, um, just picking up some metal work. Um, so that I'll have it ready to build the stud wall partitioning with. Um, just waiting for someone to come and load me up. Well, I've got the bits loaded up, so back home now. 
coffee and warm up, I think. bought those metal rails today um, they will be forming walls um, so as I did in the sheet I'm going to actually box along this wall um, going to insulate behind it and those metal rails they fit you get one that fits along the top and one that fits along the bottom um, now the one that fits along the top is going to bang right into all of that plaster coving up there. Um, it's in bad condition, it all needs reconfiguring anyway. Today's job is to cut that to make it flat ceiling ready for me to fix the rail, the metal work onto. So I'm going to go around the whole room and do that and it's going to make a mess. This isn't fun. I put these on and I can't see what I'm doing with the mask on. If I don't have the mask on, I can't breathe. Dust is still getting into my eye. It's not great. Anyway, enough about me. Um, I've been trying to cut the plaster off that way and it's gonna take forever. Quicker if I just cut along and get it back to the last along that line there I think so um, so that's what I'm going to do <laughs> new technique seems to be working um, so I'm going to carry on doing that It's been a fun afternoon. Um, so I've done up to there. Um, I'm not doing along that wall because I'm actually that's going to be inside the ensuite, and I'm doing something different with the ceiling in there. But I've been around the rest of the room. Um, I've got off what I've got, and there's a lot of mess. And I'm going to spend the rest of the day tidying up, sweeping up. No, I think I might have a shower. I won't bother filming it. It's not that interesting watching me sweep up. But it will be done. Mark my words, it will be done. Well, 
on the whole, I think I've made good progress today. I'm a few hours in now. It's going well. I've got nearly everything out. I'm going to need a hand moving that scale. It's so heavy. I need to do something about my hair because it's all falling, falling out of the clip. But yeah, I'm getting somewhere positive. Well, I've now given everything a really, really good hoover. Um, I'm looking at this wall. Um, it's not an insulated wall. I think it's just a big, thick concrete wall that backs onto, um, I think what would have been an abattoir at one point or a stable with feeding stations, which is now a storage barn. Um, I think this wall has only ever had one coat of paint, because you can see it's not, not particularly thick. It's, it's, it's just flaky. Um, yeah, there's a tiny little bit of damp down there. Have a look at that. But apart from that, it's not, it's not too bad. It's just a bit, it's just a bit crispy in places. Um, I pulled out, pulled this out the wall. That was quite interesting. Came out quite quickly. But I think that my best bet is just giving this a once over with some like external wall paint. I don't want to put everything out on the shelves and then have crispy, crispy paint all over everything. Although I do have an idea to stop that. But if you can prevent it in the first place, it's always better. I think tomorrow my protocol will be the paintbrush and the roller. I'd rather do the job properly and do it once rather than again and again. Yep. It's a frosty day out there. It's a frosty day in here as well. Oh. Right. I'll do a bit more pipe work today. Yeah. So the other day I'd, I'd set out the pipe work um, for the two toilets that will be here. Um, now we're going to have a, another bathroom upstairs in the attic. Um, and I need to know where the pipes are going to come down through the ceiling. So I'm going to go up there now and decide where I want the pipes to come through and uh, drill a hole through the ceiling. And then I'll know. <clears throat> well, you can see straight down through into the bathroom here where I took down the plaster um, yesterday. Ah, right. Where shall we go? Oh. Up there. Oh well, I didn't mean for that lap to collapse, but it did, never mind. Good morning, new day. It's a little chilly in the corridor this morning. Um, I have my roller, I have paint, uh, and I'm gonna give these walls a quick lick of paint. I say a quick lick of paint, it'll probably take me a day. <laughs> Always does. Um, but yeah, I'm going in with an outdoor paint um, because when these walls get cold, I thought, you know what, an outdoor, a bit of outdoor paint, it's not going to do it any harm. Uh, I'm going in with a colour called Ton Pierre, which is stone, which is basically the same colour. Da, ba -da, -ba -da, 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 da the before. I'm going to 
doing all of the cutting in before I go in with the roller, there's some really quite interesting bits in this room. Um, first one's here, this really old coat hook. And the interesting thing is, I think that this is what originally the butcher who lived in this house would have hung his apron upon because if you look below, there's loads of runny stains on the wall. And it's pretty much the only place in this corridor that has these runny stains. The next thing is to do with the ceiling. Now, the ceiling in here is in really good condition. It's all like wooden panelled. I say good condition. It does have some holes from woodworm in it. However, okay, the left side, the panelling is all perfect. The right hand side, can you see there's like notches in the ceiling? There's one, two, three, four. And I'm wondering whether there was something that was attached to the ceiling that you could actually hang meat from, like the carcasses of pigs. Because again, this, this corridor, it would be perfect for storing it in because it doesn't get a lot of sun, it's cold, it's cool, and it's dry. So I'm wondering whether up there has been some sort of like hanging or pulley device because all of these things, they're, they're actually metal and it's as if somebody's just gone along really quickly quite a few years ago and just kind of lobbed them off with some kind of like angle grinder. It would have been really nice to have known what was attached to the top of here. But yeah, there's, there's a couple of random things. There you have it. Well, that's where it's going to be. Um, but first thing I want to do is fit some of these brackets to hold that pipe in the right place. Um, and once I've done that, I can get it all glued together. Whee! confirm to you all of the cutting in has been done. Time to go in with the roller. Oh, I don't like rollers. There's, I was looking on the packet and the packet said, oh, non-drip, non-drip, uh, non-splasser. Non, non and it's like, that's, that's the biggest lie going. Don't always believe the packet. It's it's cack. <laughs> disappears downstairs toilet number one toilet number two 
and that one will be able to connect to the toilet upstairs and that one for the shower and anything else that I want to. So here we go. What can I say? What a waste. It's only a quick look of paint, but wow, it's really brightening it up and it makes it look a lot less dirty. Ugh. down on the walls. Um, one coat has been a pretty thick and even coverage which I'm pleased with although I have just kept my painting tools wrapped until tomorrow and I'm going to come back once it's a bit dried and just check along this wall here where I may give it a bit of a second coat with the roller but yeah and it smells really good. It's not like the paint at Christmas that smelled of fish. This smells fresh. Ooh. Um, so I'm gonna call it quits in here for today. I have other stuff to do as usual. But yeah, as Nick would say, I'm quite pleased with that. Yeah. Yay! Get in there. Miserly day today, and well, Claire went out this morning shopping. I had to go and get vegetables, you know. I wasn't exactly going on like a spending spree or anything, just vegetables. And uh, the car suffered a bit of damage. Have a look at this. wrong I didn't want to break my car no but some other <clears throat> anyway I don't think anyone is to blame and nobody has blamed anyone so anyway we're off now to try and get it repaired but we're a bit early so just as we're around the corner from uh, Troc which is a second-hand furniture shop we're going to go and have a look and see if there's anything that we'd like to buy. And here we are. Of course, it's not just furniture, there's other interesting articles. this so that will do nicely for uh, one of the bathrooms Whee! that turned into a little bit of an expensive <laughs> shopping trip didn't it dear don't dear me yes dear <laughs> we'll show you it all tomorrow we're gonna come pick it up in the van and uh, well, got we'll show you everything that we bought then <sighs> we've just had the windscreen repaired and are on our way back home it's not an invisible repair, but um, it's a lot better than what it was, and apparently it won't, the crack won't spread now. So, all being dealt with through the insurance company, don't need to pay a penny. Oh, the crack won't spread. Hi, Hi and welcome 
to Wine of the Week. What have we got this week? We have a lovely Primitivo. Ah. A lovely Italian wine. Like a bit of Italian, don't know about you. I like their wine very much, yes. Bit of a change, don't often get it. No, no, I, I found this. This is in Hyper U and I think it was under five euros. Bargain. 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 Whilst Claire's pouring that, I just want to say welcome to all the new subscribers we've had recently. Um, and it's great to get um, read your comments, so thank you very much. Yes, it is. Now, if you have enjoyed this week's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and like. If you've not already subscribed, please consider doing so. You can also find us on Facebook, Instagram and X or our website at www.theexpatbutchers.com. Yes, you or can. Or just every week here. Yeah. Well, it has been a productive week there. I'm pleased with the progress. Lots of progress. Making progress! <laughs> Arr. Arr. <laughs> anyway, excuse me. I'm rather... Why? What have you done? Wine. <laughs> mm. What am I excusing you for? Oh. A bargain. Cheers. Oh, cheers. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. <laughs> I've only even it's had a sip. One. It's the first one, honestly. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching and we will see, see you, you next time. Cheers.